Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can save your favorite presets inside GoPro Studios as um, presets. So if you've made adjustments to something, you can actually save them as presets and they can become one of these little icons over here on the right. So what I've done is I've got two clips. We're going to drag them down into our timeline here. They're just simple skiing clips, nothing too exciting here. But what it will do is give us a chance to play with some. Okay, so if we come over here to the filters, we can apply some. So let's, I'm going to make up something here. I'm going to go Protune, Candy Color, uh, Large vignette, vi Vignetting, and I'm also going to change the white balance. So I'll pick this, we'll make that white. All right, so I've made some adjustments. Maybe I'm going to lower the um, exposure a little bit too. And then maybe I'll boost the contrast or maybe I'll lessen the contrast and lessen the contrast and then boost the exposure or something like that. And maybe I turn the saturation down a little bit and all right, so I've got something that looks like that. And it's not one of the, like it doesn't show up down here as one of the presets, but maybe I like this look and I want to be able to easily apply it to lots of edits that I have coming up. So I can actually save it as a preset. So I'm gonna come down here into where it says preset and you can see this empty box and then there's add beside it. I'm gonna call this one cool, just for lack of a better word to call it. And then I'm gonna hit add. And what you're gonna see happens is down here at the bottom on your presets, you get your new preset. So our preset cool. I can go back to none and then without making all those adjustments like I did before, I can just hit cool and all of them come back up. The exposure's changed, the white balance has changed. If you watch the sliders here, we go when we go to none, it changes. And then if I come over to my other clip, so the first one here, and I hit cool, it changes everything for me automatically. So I didn't have to go through and make all those changes. Again, I just hit my preset. Now this is really cool because, well, we could copy and paste effects from um, clip to clip when we were editing within one edit. If we want to apply this same filter across multiple edits or multiple projects and we really like the way they look, they actually get saved. And then when we close GoPro Studios and come back to it, this preset will still be there. So if you want to use it across multiple edits or different projects, you can do that. Thank you guys for watching this other GoPro tips and tricks video. If you guys have enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe and check out my channel for lots more videos. If you like the video guys, why not give it a like? It really means a lot. And if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. I read them and I do respond. Until next time guys, Thank you very much for watching.